let's take a look at the Xamarin Studio on the Mac. I'm going to launch it. And it really looks identical to what we would see on the PC. The only difference here on the Mac is if I create a new project, I can create a project for both Android and iOS. On the PC, Xamarin Studio does not let me create an iOS project. I do that through Visual Studio if I want to do it on a PC. So um, you're basically just going to create a, an Android project on the PC in Xamarin Studio. Let's go to File and we'll create a new solution. And so here are my options. I'm going to create a cross-platform app like we've been doing using Xamarin Forms. It shows you I'm going to be using C Sharp. So I'm going to say Next. I'm going to give that a name. So I'll call this Xam Studio Demo. I can target my platforms here of Android or iOS. If I didn't want iOS, only Android, I can turn the iOS off and vice versa. And here's where I can choose between the portable class library and the shared library. We'll go ahead and just leave the portable class library as our default. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to just decide where I want to save this project. And I will say Create. And very similar to what we saw earlier in Visual Studio, I have my shared code here. And then I have a project for Droid and a project for iOS. Still adding the packages. Let's, op let's open up the Xamarin Studio. And here is the Xam Studio demo.cs. Let's look at that file. Just like what we've seen before. Really, the code is the same what we saw on the Visual Studio side. It's going to create um, a label with Welcome to Xamarin Forms. Once again, I'm just going to change that to South Mountain Community College. And right now, my iOS is the default project. We can see that here is our app delegate.cs, which is going to tell it to launch a new app window. We'll go ahead and test this. I'm choosing to debug it in a iPhone 6 iOS emulator. Again, I can choose different emulators here if I wanted. Let's just test this. So it's building the project. Waiting for the debugger. There is my emulator, and there is my project running in the emulator. I'm going to quit the emulator. I'm going to come back to Xam Studio, and let's just change this as my make Droid my startup project. I can choose my emulators here. These are emulators that I've installed with the uh, Xamarin uh, Android emulator. So I've got the Nexus 4 KitKat. This is uh, API 19. See the dimensions there. Let's just test this. So it's now building the project for Droid. not choose to look for the update. There's my Android player. Loading up the operating system. I'm going to log in. Now deploying it to the device. And there's my project running in the Android emulator. Okay. 
So very similar to what we saw running in Visual Studio. Uh, if you don't need to create anything for Windows, just Android or iOS, um, I think the Xamarin Studio on the Mac is a great way to go. Um, it seems to run a little bit smoother than Visual Studio. It doesn't give you all the bells and whistles that Visual Studio has and some of the nice features of that, but I think it's a great way of developing.